we are in the process of setting up single node hadoop and spark cluster as part of ubuntu 18.04 that is provident from gcp let's take care of setting up prerequisites so that we can take care of setting up hadoop and spark at a later point in time either you can use web based terminal by going here and by clicking on this this is one way where you can actually connect to the ubuntu 18.04 terminal and run all linux based commands to take care of setting up whatever is required or if you set up gcloud cli you should be able to connect to this virtual machine using ssh even from mac based terminal or uh, powershell if you are using windows i'll be using uh, mac based terminal but if you do not have uh, the component set up to actually access the virtual machines using mac based terminal or powershell you can just use browser based approach whatever commands i am running using mac based terminal you should be able to run those using browser based terminal also both are same there is no difference between the two only difference is the way i am connecting using uh, uh, mac terminal versus uh, powershell on windows or browser based approach once you get into this you should be able to run the same commands uh, what i am demonstrating as part of setting up the cluster not only in this topic and also as part of the subsequent topics now let me exit from here because i'll be using uh, mac based terminal i have something called as item let me launch the item if everything is set up properly to connect to the virtual machines that are provisioned on gcp you should be seeing a file called as google compute engine under dot ssh folder you can see here this is the private key using which i can connect to the virtual machine using ssh i can say ssh hyphen i tilde slash dot ssh then google compute engine i have to get this uh, public ip paste it here and i should be able to connect to the virtual machine using uh, terminal from my mac if you are using powershell on windows you can take care of it uh, using powershell also also uh, instead of using uh, ssh command if you expand this you also have gcloud command if you have gcloud set up on your machine you should be able to copy paste this command also to connect to the virtual machine directly once you get into the virtual machine whether you use ssh or gcloud command or web based approach or ssh on powershell or gcloud on powershell everything is one and same as we have successfully logged in into the virtual machine let's make sure that we have all the prerequisites that are required to set up hadoop and spark uh, on a single node first and foremost we need to ensure that we have wget wget will be used to download hadoop or spark binary at a later point in time as part of this topic we will ensure that we have wget to validate whether we have wget or not we can get on to the vm then we can type wget and hit enter if it is there we will be seeing this error with usage it means wget is there if the command is not there it will say no command uh, found if that is the case then we have to set up wget first in your case if you do not have wget all you need to do is you have to say sudo apt install wget and hit enter it will take care of installing wget for you if it doesn't exist as i already have wget it is saying wget is already the newest version and hence it didn't install anything on this machine once we ensure we have wget on this machine the next thing what you need to keep in mind is jdk without jdk you will not be able to set up single node hadoop cluster on this machine to make sure whether you have jdk or not first you can run these two commands this one will confirm whether you have jre or not this one will confirm whether you have jdk or not if you do not have uh, jre as well as jdk you can run this apt get install command using this it will take care of installing both jre and jdk let's validate whether we have jre and jdk first and then we will take care of installing it let me go to the terminal and then let me run this command called as java hyphen version you see there is no jre without jre there will not be jdk also you can confirm by copy pasting this command you do not have jdk either now you should be able to run this command which says apt get install open jdk hyphen 8 hyphen jdk space hyphen y it will take care of installing jdk 1.8 on this machine let me run this now it is actually installing jdk for us once it is installed we should be able to run those two commands to confirm whether we are able to access jre as well as jdk that are set up using whatever version we have used at the time of installation it is nothing but jdk 8 let's wait until this is run then we will validate as jdk is successfully installed now we should be able to say java hyphen version to confirm that we can access jre you can also say java c hyphen version to confirm that we can access jdk if J java c version is working that means jdk is set up on this machine these are the most important prerequisites for now make sure you have wget and jdk installed before you go further and take care of uh, required steps to set up hadoop and then spark at a later point in time first we will cover all the aspects related to hadoop then we will see details related to hive then we will get into the details related to spark let's get into further details so that everything that is required for us to learn data engineering is set up on this machine